take you through really simple kind of breathwork practice. All right, so find yourself in a seated position and you can put your hands on your heart, one on your heart, one on your stomach. And so we're just going to practice, I think I actually did a podcast on this, diaphragmatic breathing. Oftentimes when we have anxiety in our bodies, we do chest breathing, short breaths. What I want you to practice and what I hope you can carry along here after is that if you get into your breath, practice diaphragmatic breathing, breathing from your solar plexus and using your drive diaphragm to expand your belly when you breathe and lengthen your breath so that you're not doing the shallow breathing. And this is based in science. You will actually tap into your parasympathetic nervous system and down-regulate that fight or flight response, right? And in times of fear and panic right now, and even though, you know, I'm the type of person, I didn't run to the grocery store, I am not panicking over this. Regardless of that, it is very difficult with what is going on in the news. I mean, I never watch the news, but now I have been because I want to be well informed and stay on top of the moment to moment changes. So it does create some anxiety, some resistance of like, oh my God, what is going on, right? But in saying that, you can use these tools. The world can still go on and you can use these tools to keep yourself grounded and centered and reminding yourself that you're safe and that we will get through this. And like I said before, this is a really teachable opportunity for us as leaders in our family and in our community, in your workplace, to lead by example, right? And show how are you going, moving through this time with integrity as best you can, with compassion as best you can, but also for yourself. Because what I do know for sure like a broken record but your health is your wealth and part of you being healthy is having a strong immune system and this is why movement breath work staying grounded in your mindset is super important and as the weeks go on I will speak about the nutrition part right but your body is your temple and this is part of it how can you honor your temple and your mindset in a way that will make you resilient in face of fear and panic and whatever else so let's start with one hand on your heart one hand on your belly good closing your eyes and just stay with me for a sec and here's a really good practice if your kids are with you and they're running around practice right this is not about perfection at any point this is about progress and practice one baby step at a time Right? Because like an ant tries to build an anthill, they can build some pretty massive anthills with all their micro little things that they're bringing, right? So, hand on your belly, hand on your heart. Deep breath in. Hand out. And try to take a deep breath in for a count of four. And out for four. Find what works for you. A lot of people use a count of five or six. I don't have that capacity. So four for me. It's a really comfortable number. And when you're doing this, kind of breathe into your belly. Feeling the rise and the fall in your hand with your deep breaths in and out. And stay with your breath. And let's just start noticing that mind chatter, right? Like when we're conscious of the law. Thank you. 
intimate of a choice of what you are setting in your intention. How are you taking care of that inner system? What is your resiliency in your inner system? And how you're leading by example to those around you. Keep with your breath. And I want you to practice saying, into that party room that feels overwhelming. That you go in with like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, try my best. I'm gonna try my best to interact and to be happy. It's kind of like an intention, setting your intention from a place of wholesome, grounded energy, right? So for me, I'm going to set my intention to move through my day with ease and mindfulness mindfulness of how I interact with my kids, mindfulness of how I manage my anxiety, using breath to come back to. Literally, guys, it can be a 30 second of deep breath in and breathing out, right? To ground yourself. Mindful of my interactions with all of you online and what I'm going to choose to consume. Good, and stay with your breath. Deep breath in for four or five. And breathing out. And you can release your hands either to heart center or onto your lap or cradling your hands. And sitting tall. And deep breath in. And out. visualizing myself on either the beach or on top of mountain peaks, right? And keeping my eye on the horizon, right? So in your mind's eye, look as far as your mind's eye can see to the horizon of the mountaintops or the ocean that you may see when you're sitting on the edge of the beach. Stay in that visualization of what you see and imagine the clouds rolling in. And imagine your thoughts are the clouds that you see. Because in life and in trying to stay focused on what matters and not being anxious, there'll be a lot of thoughts of anxiety, of fear, maybe of panic. And on a daily basis, right, there are thoughts of perhaps insecurity, anxiety, your to-do list. And imagine those thoughts, insert them, plop them into those clouds that float by. Right? Because as we know, when you look at a blue sky or when you see the clouds, it's transient, right? Clouds float in and out of you all the time. And sometimes when you are grounded with your breath and your intention, your clouds dissipate and all you see is blue sky, right? And this is not about the perfection of blue sky. It's about that your thoughts may always be there. And if you can get deep enough and conscious enough and aware enough, those clouds will dissipate. 
some days it'll be super cloudy that you can't even see any blue and that's okay. And so if you're starting with that, that's okay. But just stay with your breath. Stay with your intention of being grounded, of moving through today with mindfulness perhaps, a mindfulness regardless, right? And that you have control of your thoughts, of bringing mindfulness, of staying in control, of choosing every moment where anxiety pops up. How are you going to stay grounded? Bring your hands to heart center. Drop your chin. Deep breath in. Breathing out. Thank you for joining me. fear together. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. Thumbs to your forehead. The light in me sees the light. 